In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can double your mortgage production this year, 2022, even with the skyrocketing rates, without being held hostage by realtors, and without hiring a huge team. This is the same exact strategies that we've used to help hundreds of loan officers across the country go from zero to funding over a billion dollars in funded loans. Now, my goal for you today is by the end of you watching this video, you will learn a step-by-step -step process on how you can realistically double your mortgage production and grow fast. How you can do this in our current market condition by attracting and serving your ideal borrowers. How you can unlock more production than you've ever had without hiring a huge team. And how you can 10x the value of your borrowers more than your competitors. And if that sounds like a bold promise to you, well, I intend to keep it. So I promise you, if you stay with me throughout this video, this will change your life. So let's go ahead and dive in. So this is one of the quotes that we were actually just discussing last week in our mastermind community. And uh, Barry Habib said this, things in the market are going to slow down, but it will represent a great opportunity. If you think about it, that is where we are right now. There is massive opportunity. Fortune. This is when fortunes are made, right? And so there's massive opportunity right now in the current market. And we know this because we've done it. You know, we've we've actually helped hundreds of loan officers all across the country. And you could read these testimonials, these client interviews on our website. You could also check it out on our YouTube channel. Uh, and you could also Google us. You know, you could read our reviews. You could see that we know what we're talking about. Okay. And so let's go ahead and dive in. So first off, I want to introduce you to Alfredo Ortega. He is one of my favorite stories in our community of loan officers. Um, Alfredo is just like you and me. You know, he is an amazing, genuine hum human being, uh, a loving father, loving husband, uh, beautiful, loving family. And uh, Alfredo, just like you and me, you know, he has big dreams. He has huge ambitions to be able to help provide for his family. So, you know, he put in the work, uh, he's been in the mortgage industry since the early, you know, 2000s, you know, he, he's had to kind of go through some setbacks uh, from the housing crash, and then really jumping from company to company, you know, but he's been in the game, right? And so uh, he was a student of the game. He really followed all the traditional strategies in growing his mortgage production by networking with realtors, doing open houses, you know, live realtor classes, uh, creating content, videos. Uh, he's even tried like buying leads, generating his own leads, uh, connecting with home buyers, partnering with the real estate agents, right? Uh, but ultimately, he really got burnt out. You know, he was doing so many things, but not really moving the needle. And most of all, he's not able to have the time to be present with his family. Uh, he was tired all the time, basically begging realtors for business, uh, waiting for the next referral, you know, not really having any control on his business, right? He was doing business, you know, he was making money, but just barely, right? Like one month he'd do well, but then the next month he just doesn't know where his next deal is going to come from, right? So there's massive anxiety here. And so for all of you, as mortgage professionals, as service professionals, as business owners, I want you to understand that there's always a gap from where you are to where you want to be. I know you know that where I am right now and where I want to be, but there's this gap, right? Something is hold, something holding us back, right? There's something that is the staunting thing. Like, you know, where do I go? I, I, like, I don't even know where to start, right? Like, where do I even start? Uh, you know, how do I get to that other side, right? I can't, I can't just jump. Like there's this massive cliff between where I am right now to where I want to go. And, uh, and so really the big secret, you know, to get from where you are right now in your business to where you want to be, right? The big secret, the big secret is this, you need what's called an unfair advantage offer, you know? So you, so you might ask like, okay, so what exactly is an unfair advantage offer? Okay. Now this offer is what will help you grow your mortgage business fast. I promise you this. And so really what is, what is this, right? What is an unfair advantage offer? So really there's three things that we need for us to have an unfair advantage offer. So the first thing is it has to be unique, meaning you cannot be compared to your competitors. And uh, unfortunately as a mortgage professional right now, 
It's hard to be unique because you are commoditized, right? Like consumers right now are literally taught to talk to three to four lenders to get the cheapest rate. And if you don't have anything unique, you know, why would they choose you, right? So we need to have something unique, something that we have this unfair advantage offer. And if we have this, we cannot be compared to anybody else because it's only you that has this. So number two is this offer needs to be irresistible. And the best way for me to explain what irresistible is, is when you offer it, people feel stupid saying no to you, right? Like, and so if you have something irresistible, you don't even need to be the best salesperson. You just need to make an offer. And because it's irresistible, well, they'll just buy it, right? Like that's the power of this. And the third thing is it has to be zero risk, meaning for the buyer, their perceived value of what you but what you will get, what they will get is so much more higher than what they think they're willing to risk, right? There is no downside for your customer, just all upside, okay? Does it make sense? Like, do you see how powerful having an unfair advantage offer is, okay? Now, let's talk about, all right, so here's, here's, a, here's an example of, uh, of Zappos, um, what their unfair advantage offer is, success story of Zappos, okay? And so, you know, initially, before they found their unfair advantage offer, really Zappos was almost going out of business. You know, this is early on. Um, it was the dot-com era, right? Just the beginning of the dot-com era. And online shopping at that time was a brand new concept. You know, people weren't used to buying stuff online. You know, we didn't have this, you know, huge e-commerce boom, right? And so, and, and, and at that time, nobody even believed that people would buy retail clothes or let alone shoes online, right? They're super risky because, you know, why would you buy something if, you know, I have to fit it, right? Like I need to make sure the stuff fits. So, you know, most of the time, like I would need to physically walk into a store to actually fit the shoes, right? Before buying them. And so this is what Zappos did, okay? So they created an unfair advantage offer, okay? So three things. So it, they did free shipping. So uh, at that time, nobody was doing this, okay? So they did free shipping. Uh, and then here's the crazy part. Buy it, try it on. If it doesn't fit, shoot it back to us. We'll pay for all the shipping. And you can even try it for almost a year. You need to try it for almost a year. And if you don't like it, send it back, right? Like this is what they did. So it's an unbelievable unfair advantage offer. And people called called uh called this crazy you know they called tony shea the founder of zappos crazy for doing this but interestingly enough what they found out was you know they were thinking all right are people going to abuse this well interestingly enough the women actually when they bought shoes even if they don't fit they actually they are picturing and visualizing that it will fit in the future so they you know they keep it in their closet right so it's very interesting but if you think about it this is really what made Zappos uh, a household name because they created an unfair advantage offer. So it's unique. No one was doing this uh, at all. It's irresistible, right? And it just, it just makes sense, right? Like there is zero risk for the customer at this time. And so when they launch this, this unfair advantage offer, that is when Zappos just blew up, you know? And Amazon even acquired Zappos for $1.2 billion. That is insane. Like, the, can, you, can you even comprehend, comprehend that number? Um, but this is, this is really what it is, right? Because they had an unfair advantage offer. Do you see how powerful that can be, right? If you have an unfair advantage offer as a loan officer, this is going to be massive, okay? So and I'll explain this. Now, here's another example. Domino's, okay? So Domino's, in the beginning, actually, uh, Domino's was struggling. You know, in the beginning, uh, Domino's was a new player in the market, right? Uh, sales were down. Uh, very few people actually go in to eat at Domino's. Uh, and they're basically getting killed by their competitors, you know, uh, by Pizza Hut, right? They're a new player in the game. And, uh, and interestingly enough, so this is what they did, okay? So what they did is um, initially what Domino's found out was that the bulk of their sales came from delivery orders and not walk-ins. Right? And more importantly, they found out that most of the people who order are college students. So what they did was they strategically opened up their stores next to colleges and universities. And 
came up with an unfair advantage offer, okay? They came up with the now famous 30 minutes or free, okay? Now, if you order from us, we will deliver the pizza to you, still hot, still fresh from the oven, within 30 minutes, or it's free. So again, it's unique. No one was doing this at that time. It's irresistible. You know, you feel stupid not you feel stupid not taking them up on that offer, right? Like zero risk. If we don't arrive within 30 minutes, you don't even need to pay. And so after implementing that unfair advantage offer, this is when Domino's blew up. They absolutely killed the market. They even overtook Pizza Hut in total sales and became the number one pizza chain in America. This is the power of having an unfair advantage offer. Do you see how powerful this is? Do you see that if you as a loan officer have something unique, have something irresistible that has zero risk, this is how you can blow up. And so which bring us now to we showed these secrets to Alfredo. We showed the unfair advantage offer to Alfredo and we started to show him and this is what happened. Now we started working with Alfredo back in September of 2020. And within, uh, back in 2020, he was able to fund 26 units for 9 million. And within tw 12 months, within the first year, 2021, he was able to fund 40 units for 18 million. He has literally been able to double his production within the first 12 months. Insane. And mind you, 90% of his business comes from Good Vibe Squad, comes from our system, right? Directly through our system, okay? And so now this year for Alfredo, just this year alone, January 2022 to March of 2022, meaning the first quarter. So he has already funded 10 units for 6 million. This is all from our system directly. That means we actually generated the lead. We actually qualified the lead. We actually nurtured the lead from him. And we had, we, we had this lead actually schedule an appointment on his calendar. All he did was he had to just take the application and actually fund that deal, right? Close and originate that loan. And so this all came from our system. Uh, he has in processing underwriting 10 units for 4 million, eight of which came from our system. He has pre-approvals currently now making offers. He has 21 units for 9 million and 16 of which came directly from our system. And right now he already has application, 21 units, applications happening right now for 12 million. And 17 of that came directly from our system. And so just Q1 alone of 2022, he is already on target for his goal of 40 million this year. Insane. Like, do you see how crazy it is? Do you see how powerful this is by having an unfair advantage offer? And most of all, you know, it, it's not just the numbers, right? The production is awesome. You know, him being able to double his mortgage production, that's amazing. But more importantly, he was able to fix his health. So last year, Alfredo was diagnosed as being insulin resistant. And now this is a very serious condition uh, meaning his body cannot digest insulin, which makes him prone to diabetes, which can lead to fatality if not managed. So through working with us and utilizing the unfair advantage secrets that I'll be showing you today, he was able to get the money and time to hire a personal trainer to fix his health. And most of all, he is not stressed out trying to chase realtors, you know, looking for where his next deal is going to come from, which made him more present with his family, right? So most, and he just mostly works from home now, spends more time with his beautiful family. Can you see how powerful this is? He has more time to spend to fix his health. Uh, he does not need to stress out about future deals and spend time with his family all throughout because he has an unfair advantage offer. All right, so can you see how powerful this is? So I just wanna clarify, the unfair advantage is not a do-it-yourself course, right? This is not a course that I'm talking about. This is a complete done-for-you mortgage marketing partnership to guarantee that you grow fast. All right, so who does this work for? This is most of the questions that I get is, who does this work for? All right, so this unfair advantage works for if you are a producing loan officer, whether you work for a bank, whether you are in retail lending, or whether you are a broker, this absolutely works for you. 
Uh, if you are a branch manager, meaning you have a team of loan officers, this will absolutely work for you. And if you're a broker owner, meaning you're trying to scale your mortgage brokerage, this will absolutely work for you. Now, here's an example. So here is uh, Mina Aswega. He is a producing loan officer in a bank, specifically in a bank. So he's a, he was actually a brand new loan officer in Colorado, just licensed just last year, January 2021. In the six months of just working together, he has already added four new realtor referral partners. And just this year, from January to March of 2022, Q1, he has already funded deals for, he has funded nine deals for 3.2 million. He has five in underwriting for 1.8 million. He has six pre-approvals putting offers for 2.1 million, and he has 15 applications for 5.4 million. Uh, and Mina's story is really powerful. Uh, Mina is actually a veteran, and he used to serve in the Air Force. And uh, you know, after coming back from his service, he really had a dilemma because he didn't know what to do as his whole life was you know, just working in the Air Force before. And uh, you know, when he came back uh, from service, uh, he also has a growing family now that he needs to feed and provide for. Uh, he just didn't know, okay, what's what's the next thing, right? Um, you know, how can I provide for my family? And uh, he really stumbled upon the opportunity to help people achieve the dream of home ownership through originating loans. And uh, he loved it. Uh, he liked it, and it was a good opportunity. So he was brand new in the business, just licensed as a loan officer in January of 2021, okay? And so today, Mina has consistently helped his clients fund on their loans. You know, he actually posted this recently in our exclusive Facebook group. Uh, he, he said, like, another Good Vibe Squad closing today. And uh, he's consistently shown up, you know, did the work, now doubling his mortgage production, right? Like, he is actually putting in the work. Now, here's another one. Uh, this is Mark Tom. He's also a producing loan officer, now in retail lending. Uh, so he's a retail loan originator in Arizona. Uh, started working together June 2020. Um, just last year in 2021, Mark has been able to grow his business and has been awarded President's Club, uh, closing 58 units for $20.2 in loans. And most importantly, he has stopped relying on his realtor referral partners for business. And he has now the time to spend on the things that he loves, right? Uh, he really enjoys playing golf. Uh, he really enjoys uh, the outdoors and uh, spending time with his girlfriend, uh, being able to not only not not only generate business, but actually know that there's business next month, right? It's consistency and not relying on realtor partners. Now, here's another one. We also have another producing loan officer uh, who's a broker. This is Kiana Williams. Uh, she's a loan officer for Nexa Mortgage in California. Uh, and back in 2019, he she she struggled trying to do her own Facebook ads, you know, setting up her own CRM. Uh, she tried buying leads. Uh, she even did like mailers. Um, and, and you could see the interview uh, on our YouTube channel on, on this on our website. But she she was really doing a lot, and um, you know she kind of she kind of got some success from it, um, but she just didn't have the time. You know, she was doing too much. And so back in February of 2020, she took a risk and started working with us. And by 2021, she has been able to earn six figures of income in closing 16 units for $14.2 million. And $8 million of that directly came from Good Vibe Squad system, from our Good Vibe Squad system. And so you could see it's, um, it's, very, it's very dramatic. And this absolutely works, guys. Um, and so, and just this year, Q1 of 2022, she has already closed 10 million of business on pace for a target of 40 million for the year. Uh, incredible. And again, she's been able to spend more time and actually do the things that actually matter, right? Spend more time with her kids, spend her, more time with her family, and uh, still have the consistency of generating business, but not relying on realtors, Okay. Now, here's another one. Uh, this is Amanda Landers, and she's a branch manager. So she is a branch manager for Gateway Mortgage in Utah. Uh, started working together back in August of 2018. Um, and, and just in the first 12 months, she has literally doubled her production in the first 12 months of us working together. And Amanda has, has grown her team and absolutely exploded her business ever since we started working together. Now, 
Uh, here's a sneak peek of her actual numbers. And so Manna was kind enough to share her actual numbers. And so we started working together back in 2018. And so back in 2018, she was able to close 61 units for 14 million. And then the following year after that, she was able to accomplish, she literally doubled her business from 61 units to 119 units for 28 million. And at this time, she was able to accomplish, uh, she got awarded the President's Club uh, in her company. And then the following year after that, in 2020, this is when she, she really exploded her business. She did, from 119, she did 280 for 76.8 million. This is more than doubled her business. And this is how she was really, she has really able to uh, unlock more time to be able to do more which actually is a secret number two that we will be talking about today in this training. So I promise you, stay with me on this training and I will show you how you can unlock more time for your business without hiring a huge team. So Amanda has a small team of three loan officers and just one assistant. It's not huge, but she is accomplishing huge numbers. And the following year, 2021, she was able to stay consistent and actually grew her loan volume to 79.2 million. And so this year, she is still on pace. So this 20, 2022, she's still on pace to hit those numbers, even with her current market, okay? Now, keep in mind, you know, she has, she, just for Q1, she's funded $37 million for $13 million. And keep in mind, these are funded loans, okay? So this is just Q1, 2022. She's already funded 37 units for $13 million. This number does not include the loans in processing and in her pipeline right now. Her pipeline has doubled that number, so she's on pace to hit Hall of Fame this year. Now, keep in mind, these are real numbers, guys. Like, you can even verify yourself. Like, you can, you, you could use, like, tools out there that can check, like, public numbers. These are all public information. So you could verify this. Uh, if you want, uh, here is uh, her public numbers. If you look at it, just keep in mind though that Utah is a non-disclosure state. So if you do check her numbers, her public numbers might look a little bit different than what I'm showing you, but they're going to be roughly in the same ballpark, right? Like just know that the public info that you're seeing won't be accurate. Also, the purchase and refi breakdown looks a little bit different because she's more on the 70 to 80 percent purchase business. Okay, uh, this one publicly looks like it's like 50 50. Now, here's the more important thing. You know, the numbers again, numbers are awesome. Numbers are great. She's been able to like, you know, grow her business. But more importantly, she has time to spend with what matters, right, with her family. So this is her family. Uh, and you could see she has an uh, amazing husband, uh, beautiful children, two beautiful children. And uh, Lander here is a really good wrestler, actually. So, uh, and then Miranda is an amazing dancer, um, both uh, really overachievers, uh, just like Amanda. Uh, but more importantly, right, like if you think about it, it's, it's awesome to be able to build a business and grow a business. But it's even more important to be able to be present in these moments for our family, for our children, right? And Amanda is able to do this uh, with going through the, the unfair advantage. Um, now, if you're a broker owner, here's another example. So this is Chris Diaz. He is a broker owner in California. Originally, he bought a popular mortgage marketing course to generate his own Facebook lead, okay? Um, but he was so frustrated. It took a lot of time. There were so many complications trying to figure out what the ads were, the creative. Uh, it was just like a huge nightmare. Uh, trying to set up his own CRM. Uh, he was so frustrated. Uh, and then he decided to sign up with us, with Good Vibe Squad, at, back in March of 2019, okay? Now, just in the first 12 months, he was able to achieve 400% ROI on the program, literally generated over 200,000 commission, in actual commission. This is hard commission in his bank account in the first 12 months. And, and again, you guys can you know can watch the the, the interviews here uh, on our YouTube channel and on our website as well. And because of that, because of the success that that Chris has done, uh, has had, uh, he's been able to renovate his home in California. Uh, he's, he's installed like a beautiful pool, amazing uh, for his family, and really spends more time with his family, right? Uh, and he's able to to really be present with his family. Uh, this is his beautiful wife, uh, and then his beautiful children. And again, this is what matters, right? This is what really matters is we want to be able to generate the business and uh, we want to be able to have that consistency, but more importantly, 
have the time to be able to be present to our, to our loved ones, right? So again, we've seen this work for hundreds of loan officers. So it does not matter whether you're a producing loan officer, uh, whether you're a bank, retail broker, a branch manager, a uh, broker owner, this works, right? But who does this not work for, okay? This does not work for just everyone, okay? So the first thing is this does not work for if you are 100% referral based and do not want to self-source your own deals, then this won't work for you, okay? Uh, number two, if you want to originate 100% refinance deals, then this also won't work for you. Our unfair advantage system leverages self-source pre-approved home buyers to get more realtor referral partners. So uh, if you're looking to just do 100% refi, then this won't work. Uh, and then number three is, if you do not want to hop on calls to take applications, then this also won't work for you, okay? Now, if you are none of these three things, I will 100% guarantee that this will work for you. You know, we've seen this time and time again, like hundreds of, of, of clients that we work with. All right, so now I'm here to show it to you. This is gonna be amazing. I am super stoked for this. And I know this is gonna change your life. I know this will absolutely be incredible for you. So the first secret, okay? So there's three secrets that I'll be talking about today in our training. So secret number one is secret in marketing. We have uncovered a new secret unfair advantage offer that no one talks about that has the ability to grow your production faster than anything you've ever experienced. I promise you this. And then secret number two is secret to unlocking time. We have unlocked the ability to pump out massive productions equivalent to having huge teams even if you are a solo producer. And secret number three is secret to maximizing profit. We have discovered an exclusive strategy on how to make your borrowers be worth 10 times more than your competitors. And this is so crucial, guys. And these three secrets is how we've been able to help our clients fund over a billion dollars in funded loans. But it wasn't always like this. When Preston and I started Good Vibe Squad, uh, Good Vibe Squad being our marketing and consulting company, it was really more of a necessity to help provide for our own families. Like truth be told, we were struggling at that time. You know, Preston was trying to provide for his family, you know, his parents, his girlfriend, Lacey, and his son, Gentry. Uh, I, on the other hand, was trying to help provide for my family back home in the Philippines. Preston had an insurance agency and went through the traditional way of marketing his business by going after connecting with referral partners. You know, he did door knocking, he even tried to deliver food to local associations, to try to drive a business. Um, but he really, he really didn't go anywhere. And uh, what he realized is that he needed to learn more about marketing and uh, you know, even found like online courses to, to invest in, right? Now, unfortunately, he was so down on his luck that things weren't panning out, but because he knew he needed to learn marketing in order to grow his business, he literally had to settle to selling seven liters of his own blood to the plasma center every week just to be able to pay for a marketing course because he really believed that he could be, that, that could be his unfair advantage offer, you know? And so like, incredible. This is one of the things that I'm really, I really respect about Preston is like, do you, can you even imagine how down of your luck can you be to even consider and think about selling your own blood, selling your own plasma? And my story was a little bit different. So I moved here in the United States as a first generation immigrant with really barely nothing. Uh, I wanted a better life for myself, uh, for my siblings and family. Uh, I'm the eldest of four and now eight since my single mom at that time uh, has been has remarried and uh, I have four step siblings. Now, before partnering with Preston uh, to start Good Vibe Squad, I was working two full time jobs trying to save money so I can send money to the Philippines to help my family. Um, you know, so this was my first job. I was working from 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. in a digital pathology laboratory. And then I had to clock out to drive to my second job at the hospital where I would work overnight from 12 midnight to 8 a.m. in the morning. Like, honestly, this was the hardest phase in my life. Like you could see, I, I used to work, this is my second job at the hospital. And this is what I ate, like literally every day. Like just, you know, cup noodles and this coffee. You know, this is one of the hardest phases of my life, honestly, looking back. Um, but I don't regret it. You know, this taught me a lot of grit, discipline, and perseverance. And honestly, you might be in the same situation right now, and, and I feel you. You know, I, I can feel you. 
you know, maybe you're working as a loan officer, you know, working crazy hours uh, and then trying to raise children, right? Which is second full-time job in itself uh, or maybe taking care of your parents. You know, I could relate to that. And these secret strategies that I'm going to be showing you is going to be your solution. I promise you that. And so my turning point was that when I was driving from my first job to the second, I remember this very vividly. Like, honestly, I remember it was raining hard that night. Uh, I was in New York City and we just had a snowstorm the night before. Uh, it was raining. So it was it was raining hard. So, so roads were slippery, icy. You know, I was driving, you know, I was kind of groggy. You know, I, I barely slept maybe four hours that day. So I usually take the same route every day. So it wasn't anything unusual. But this night was different. You know, it was really foggy. You know, I'm driving like a beat down, like old, like 9091, like Honda Accord. And I'm driving, I'm driving, and I remember just seeing the backlight of the car in front of me. You know, I see it stop in front of me, and immediately I hit the brake. You know, it stopped, and then, like, my car didn't stop. So apparently, like, my, it, I hit a black ice on the road, and I can hear my tire screeching, and I can smell the rubber of the tire at this point, and I'm still moving forward. I'm not stopping. I'm going at, in front of this car that just stopped and right in front of me at 30, 40 miles per hour. And at that point, I tell myself, like, God, like this is it like I'm done for like no joke like I saw my life flash before me I turn my steering wheel as hard as I could and I go to the other lane thankfully there was no other car in the other lane and if there were like I I legitimately would have been an accident um, but that was a turning point in this phase of my life I told myself this is not worth it that moment just gave me clarity that I did not want to keep living the way that I was living. And so once I made that decision, you know, I never thought about it again. Once I made that decision, I never thought about it again. So what I'm telling you right now is like, if you understand, if you know that this is the decision right here, like you never want to think about it again. If you, if you know that you need an unfair advantage offer, like you never think about it again, right? And so once I made that decision, I never looked back. The following week, I actually gave in my two weeks notice to my second job uh, at the hospital. And then the following week, I also put my two weeks notice and resigned from my other job. Okay. So I decided I was going to pursue something and, and build something on my own, you know? And so I, I, I moved to this small studio apartment, essentially renting out like a small bedroom. It was really like a bedroom apartment. You know, it, little, this is what, this was it. So you could see, like, I had like a small table there. Um, that's where I used to work. It's literally like a box pretty much. And so, you know, I invested in myself, right? I read books, watched YouTube videos, invested in courses, you know, joined online Facebook groups and tried to learn as much as I could in online marketing and building a business. And through this journey, Preston and I met in an online forum. You know, we met in one of the Facebook marketing groups and we immediately built a friendship. And uh, he was in Washington and I was in New York and we would always be on Zoom calls. And really through our partnership, uh, we started Good Vibe Squad, you know, a marketing consulting agency that helps loan officers and mortgage professionals grow their business. Wait, hold up. You might be wondering at this point, wait, what? Why would loan officers even get advice from us? You know, how can we even help them? First of all, we don't even know how to market our own businesses at this point, like let alone help market for mortgage professionals, you know, and true, that's a valid question. You know, we're both not licensed loan officers. We've never sold a mortgage before, but what we did was we had a season where we basically said no to everything like literally said no to everything else and 100% focused on the mortgage industry and really learned how to help loan officers generate more business. And so we studied and learned by doing. We bought and read books on marketing. You know, at that time, Facebook was kind of just starting out. Like there were, you know, we knew that that was one of the best sources of business. So really dove deep into like learning Facebook, uh, marketing, uh, we built like sales funnels, uh, websites, understanding, you know, how automations work. You know, we even started mapping out like ideal marketing sales funnel strategies for loan officers and advertising strategies, right? We really became student of the game. You know, we invested in courses, uh, we invested in masterminds, uh, and, and masterminds, if you're not familiar, mastermind is just a fancy word for a smaller intimate conference. And um, so it's almost like a hands-on workshop. And we even invested in ourselves and we learned directly from Mark Joyner himself. You could see him in this photo. He, uh, he's the guy look, wearing black. 
Uh, he is widely considered by everyone to be the godfather of internet marketing. He basically invented the very first pixel before Google or Facebook even created the Facebook pixel, okay? And my God, he is one of the most down to earth, like honestly, like smartest and generous human beings that I've ever met. Like he's so down to earth, especially for his status. And we learned a lot from Mark. And really eventually we got really good at these two things. After putting in all the work, we got really good at lead generation and building systems. And so here's what it is. If you wanna achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who have already succeeded. And so we connected with all the top influencers, all the top leaders of the space. We started traveling around the US, speaking on stages, doing live classes, seminars, workshops, connecting with top leaders in the influencer industry. You could see here, you know, we spoke at the Vision Summit with Christine Beckwith, one of the most respected leaders in the broker world. She is a master mortgage coach, author. Uh, Barry Habib, who has won not just once, but twice, the three, the three times, like the most prestigious crystal ball award for having the most accurate real estate projection in the whole United States. Like this is crazy. He is one of the smartest person that understands the numbers and the market, right? And you can see we were even invited to join Gary Vaynerchuk's conference, Agent 2021, where Preston spoke on stage with Gary V. Uh, and Preston published his book, If I Were You, which ultimately became an Amazon bestseller. And so we really, we took all of our knowledge and got better, right? And so we started seeing results. We started seeing that, you know, our clients were getting results, awesome, uh, but, but not all, you know, at that time we didn't fully understand why. And so we kept digging, you know, we just kept enhancing our systems and processes. And, you know, we put in more work, so helping more clients at this point, and we were getting a lot of momentum, right? We were generating so much leads and business for our clients. Everything was on a roll. And so we wanted to get to the next level, okay? We wanted to get to the next level. All right, so what was it? So what's the next step? All right, so we're already helping our clients with lead generation. We have the systems in place. You know, why not add a call center? This is what this is our thought process. All right, you know, let's add a call center. Let's help people actually make these calls. And so perfect, that makes so much sense. So we did a lot of research. You know, we looked at how to start your own call center. It took us about eight months from concept to implementation. Uh, we had to find the right place. We, we had a, a, an architect create 3D mockups for what it should look like, you know, clarifying our own vision for what the call center would be. And so, all right, this looks great. We went ahead, you know, pushed through, you know, after months of planning, we signed the lease, right? We signed the lease and uh, renovations uh, started, you know, cost started to mount up. Um, there were a lot of things that we did not take into consideration, but we already invested a lot, a significant amount of money into this thing, right? And then we hired a lot of new employees. And so, all right, you know, let's go. You know, we did the renovations and then, you know, we we got the, the renovations, we got the furnitures, uh, everything looked good. We were hiring people and it was really good. We got all the employees ready to rock and roll. And then boom, COVID hit. Shit. And overnight, I kid you not, over half of our clients were requesting to cancel. There was a lot of absurdities during this time. And so no one knew what was going to happen. And so I don't blame our clients, you know, like we, we literally, but, but we literally spent a significant amount of money to this call center. We hired a lot of new people, but I was, but I was actually worried at this time, like that we could actually go bankrupt here, you know, because our costs dramatically went up. And if our revenue tanks, which, you know, it, it was looking like that, then well, damn, like we may need to like let go of people, you know, that, and that's the last thing I would personally want to do, right? Like, like we were devastated, but there was one silver lining though. And this is what I personally discovered. Innovation happens when your back is against the wall and you have no choice but to win. That's when we realized that people weren't necessarily canceling because of COVID. I mean, COVID definitely helped, but people were canceling because we just weren't good enough, right? Like our service wasn't good enough. And so we needed to become better and we needed innovation for our client. We needed an unfair advantage offer for our client. They need to be unique, needs to be irresistible with zero risk. And so this was what we really discovered. All right, so this is secret number one, secret in marketing, right? finding the loan officer's unfair advantage offer. And so the search begins. And, uh, you know, we were searching, you know, hey, what is something unique that we could offer, right? And so uh, I was talking w with one of my realtor friend, and uh, I point blank just asked her, all right, what do you look for when you choose your preferred lender? And so she started, you know, putting in, she started answering, 
to the usual ones, right? Like the usual ones that you would think that, of course, you know, you need to have these things. So knowledge on the mortgage process, uh, experience dealing with different scenarios. You know, that makes sense. Be able to communicate well, right? Uh, have to be an advisor to my client, you know, it makes sense. And then she said this, and if they have a specific home program for my client, I will automatically give them that client. Wait, what? And so she said this, I usually have several preferred lenders. And if one of my lenders have a specific program for my client, I will automatically send that client to that lender. And I'm like, wait, what? So you're telling me that if you as a real estate agent, if a real estate agent, you have, let's say 10, you know, preferred lenders or 10 people that you kind of work with as loan officers, if one of them have a specific home program for your client, by default, with no questions asked, just default, you will automatically give this client to that lender. And then she said, yes, well, this is it. This is the answer. This is the unfair advantage. You need to find a unique home program, okay? But there are issues here though. The first thing is, wouldn't having a home program attract lower quality leads? Cause they might be looking for down payment assistance, right? Like wouldn't these attract like lower quality leads? There's also issues. Well, what if my company isn't affiliated with a home program? What if my state doesn't even have a good home program to begin with? And having a home program is nice, but it's not necessarily unique to me since most are available to everyone, right? So there's a lot of potential issues here. We started to really dive into this and we did a lot of research on, you know, what home programs are available how can we get our clients to get this? And uh, we were constantly dealing with problems and issues. And so what we decided is, well, we're dealing with so much issues. Why don't we just create one ourselves? That way we make it so that the home program will actually attract higher quality leads based on the requirements. And we can define who the home program is geared for. We can also define the benefit of the home program ourselves and we can define the eligibility of the home program as well. And so this just makes so much sense. And so we created one ourselves. We created the Hero Home Program. So the Hero Home Program, this is a real program that we actually created. This is registered. This is actually like we trademarked this. This is a real program that we created. And the Hero Home Program, this is HERO. This is an acronym, stands for Helping Everyone Reach Ownership. So H-E-R-O helping everyone reach ownership. Now it took us two years to fully build this whole thing out. And uh, we built this so that we can attract higher quality leads, right? Because we're only attracting people that are professionals. These are people who have the jobs. These are people who have the income. They have a W-2, right? We know that they're gonna be ideal borrowers, right? And, and, and so the beautiful thing about this is now we're able to control that and you have now, our clients now have an unfair advantage offer. But we thought about this. All right, so now we're attracting ideal borrowers, but what else can we do, okay? So what else can we do? And so we created a complete home buying and refinance book guides. Not only are we generating the leads, not only are we attracting ideal borrowers, but we are also serving them, right? We are giving them uh, buying guides. We are giving them a lot of resources. We are nurturing them on the front end, on the process before they even talk to you. And so there's so much value in being able to like nurture people and educate them that builds trust. And so what else can we do? Well, we also created a complete home buying and trust building video, same idea, right? But now it's on a different format. We created educational videos, educational trust building videos that can help educate and build trust to your prospects even before they actually talk to you, even before they even schedule an appointment. And then we asked ourselves, what else can we do? Well, we created a complete marketing and lead generation asset, meaning everything is congruent from the messaging, from the ads, all the way down to the videos they watch, all the way down to the PDF guides that they read, from the sales pages that they land on, to the website that they see, from the calendar appointments that they book, everything is top quality congruent. And this is how we've absolutely increased not only the quality of the leads, but also the intent of the leads. When they schedule a call with you, they actually show up because they actually want to talk to you, right? 
This is the power of this. And so this is the complete unfair advantage. Do you see how powerful this is? Do you see how having an unfair advantage offer on the front end and attracting ideal borrowers and nurturing them, giving the videos, getting them to trust you even before they hop on a schedule with you, can you see how powerful this is? Can you see how you could really leverage? Can you see the power that this can help your business? And so this is Wendy Thompson. Uh, when we showed her this unfair advantage offer, this is what she said. Preston and McBilly are the best. I have literally spent thousands of dollars with numerous different marketing companies and was hesitant to give them a try at first. My results have been great and the lead quality is awesome. I highly recommend Good Vibe Squad to anyone looking to use Facebook to generate leads. Here's another one, Parker McAndrews. He said, working with Good Vibe Squad was awesome. This team of young professionals definitely delivers on their promise to you as a client and their lead generation system works. Not only does it actually generate leads, but these leads are only sent to you versus other lead generation programs where the lead is also being sent to another LO that you're competing with. Some of you, this program is pricey, but when you're making more money than you're spending, while also getting new connections along the way, it ends up being a fantastic investment on yourself. Can you see how having an unfair advantage offer makes everything easier, right? Like because we started with the offer, it just makes everything easier. It makes the ads easier. It makes the marketing easier. It makes the communication easier. It makes the nurturing easier, right? So this is secret number one, secret in marketing. So secret number two is the secret to unlocking time. We have unlocked the ability to pump out massive productions equivalent to having huge teams, even if you are a solo producer. So this is a powerful quote from Gary Vaynerchuk. He said, time is the only asset none of us are ever going to get more of. But why do other people seem to have more time and I don't? So I want to talk about these three people right here. So you got Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. You got Jeff Bezos of Amazon and Elon Musk of Tesla. What do these three people have in common apart from being billionaires? How can they build billion dollar businesses? And these are self-made billionaires. If we all have 24 hours in the day, right? Like, like how are they getting more time? Now, if you think about Mark Zuckerberg, Mark is not coding, you know, in, in Facebook, right? Like he's not producing code. He's not typing code. Uh, Jeff Bezos, if you order from Amazon, he is not driving to your house and delivering a package to your doorstep, right? Same thing with, with Elon Musk. He is not in the factory. He's not, you know, he's not, he's not actually working on developing the, the, the cars uh, and manufacturing the cars. Well, the, really the answer is through people and systems, right? This is really the key here is people and systems. Now, if you think about it, you know, even if I don't use uh, billionaires as an example, Here's an example, just a doctor, right? Let's look at a service a professional. As a doctor, if you want to see a doctor, if you want to call up a doctor, if you want to talk to a doctor, you can't just like walk in and talk to them. You can't just like call the doctor right away. You're going to go through a receptionist first, right? You're probably going to go through like a nurse. You're going to talk to them first, um, but you cannot just go directly to the doctor. The problem right now is you as a loan officer, we have been conditioned. You have to be accessible, right? Like your clients should be able to call you. Uh, you should multitask. You should do everything on your own. Problem. This is a broken model. If you try to do everything yourself, this will not work. You just won't have enough time. And even if you try to do a lot of things, they're going to be mediocre, right? Because you don't have focus. And so this is what you did. This is what we have is we created the time accelerator. Okay, there's, there's five parts to this. There's five steps, okay? The time accelerator. So the first thing is you want to identify your low return activities, your medium return activities, and your high return activities, okay? And then number two is we need to simplify the steps required for each of those activities. And number three is we need to automate the low return activities, Number four is we need to delegate the medium return activities. And number five is we need to focus on the high return activities. So this is what has worked for our clients. So things to automate, okay? This is the things to automate. So the first thing is we need to automate communications. That means texting, emailing, voicemails, right? This means like follow-ups, appointments, reminders. These should be automated you should never be like sending this manually because it just does not serve you any well. 
like this is possible like to be automated you don't need to be wasting your time with with these things right like you need to set the systems to be able to automate them uh, also the nurture process right we need to automate the educational resources we need to educate the pdf guide educational videos like the nurture the trust building process the one that i showed you earlier right we need these to be automated and then asking for five star reviews right we need to be automating these things asking for client referrals we need to be automating these things right D does this make sense like do you see how powerful this is do you see how if you're able to automate these things you will be able to save a lot of time the question now goes like who to automate for like who should we automating for so the first thing is we need to automate for the prospect we need to automate also for our clients and we also need to automate for referral partners okay so for prospects we want to automate the follow-ups the appointments the reminders and the nurture right and so this is the communication that i mentioned like the the, the nurture process the educational resources right now for clients we want to automate the reviews we want to automate the referrals we want to automate the nurture long-term nurture as well and the re repeat sale right there should we should be able to automate communications and building trust to our clients through the birthdays through nurturing them uh, so that we can get repeat sale in the future and then number three for referral partners is we need to automate the connection right we need to automate to new referral partners who we should be connecting we need to automate the appointments. We need to automate the nurture as well for them. They're gonna have different communications because uh, as referral partners, and then we need to automate the referrals, right? If they send you referrals, are their automations going straight to those referrals, right? And this is what we do for our clients. Now, these are things to delegate, okay? So these are things to delegate. And so you wanna delegate, first of all, the lead generation part. You know, this means like creating the sales pages, setting up the scheduling pages, creating the ads, you know, creating the copy, the creatives, creating the angles for the ads, like the ad management. Like there's so much changes that are happening in all the online ad platforms that it is hard to keep up. And if you try to do it, like you just won't have enough time in the day, just like all the clients that we work with. And you also want to delegate the CRM setup, right? The, your CRM system setup, this takes a lot of work. This takes a long time to even set up, like creating the message templates, right? Like setting up the automation. Oh my God, there is so much automation to be, to be set up that it's going to take you so much time if you do not delegate this step, okay? And then the nurture process, right? Creating the nurture process, meaning creating the educational videos, creating the PDFs, you know, hiring a copywriter, hiring a creative graphic artist, hiring a video editor, right? Like there's so much here that you want to delegate. You should not be doing these things, okay? And then calling reschedules, right? You should be able to delegate this. Uh, calling for reviews. Again, you should be able to delegate this. And then calling for referrals, right? You should not be doing these things. And then processing. You know, the processing itself, you do not want to be actually doing the processing. Now, you could collect the documents to help prepare them to be submitted, right? Um, but you you need to have someone who's actually doing uh, the processing, you know, the document collections, you know, they, they, they should be able to, like, get, get the remaining conditions, right? So that for you, you're only, you, you know, you're not thinking about that thing, right? You're not thinking about these things. And so here's the categories on what to delegate for. You want to delegate for marketing, you want to delegate for sales, and you want to delegate for processing, right? And so again, for marketing, we want to delegate the lead generation part, the ad management part, the, CR the CRM setup, the automation, the social media management, right? The sales, we want to cr delegate the, the creation of the educational videos, the, the edu educational guides. We want to delegate the reschedules of no-show. We want to delegate the calling for reviews, calling for referrals. And then the processing, we want to delegate the document collection, we want to delegate, you know, getting conditions, you know, taking file to the finish line. And so now if we are automating those things. If we are delegating a lot of the things, what should you focus on? So this is what we've seen that works. So number one is you want to focus on showing up on appointments and taking those calls. You know, those are going to be hard to delegate. You know, you, you cannot just delegate the experience and expertise, right? You need to be taking those calls. And number two is you need to be doing the consult calls and taking the applications, right? You need to be taking the application, building the rapport, doing the trust building. And then number three is getting applications pre-approved, right? You need to be doing that. You're going to be the one that's building the relationship on the front end. 
And number four is originating loans. And number five is building relationships. This is These are the five key high return activities that you need to be focusing on. And if you just focus on your high return activities while everything else is either automated or delegated, this is what happens, right? So I want you to hear this directly from Alfredo himself. So, well, talk to me, bro. Like it, you signed up, I was just reviewing kind of like your, you know, you signed up back in like September of 2020. How, how is it so far? To make a long story short, um, having you guys as partners and, and I, I, I see you guys as partners, not just a vendor. I've told that to Bree dozens of times and also Stephanie. I see you guys as an extension of my team and investing in GBS has been the best thing for my business because before it was always like, man, where is my next lead coming from? You know, And just gonna give you some quick numbers just from this year, mm -hmm. pushes over a side. So right now, in my pipeline, active loans. Um, I have 10 loans for 4 million and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those are from GBS. Okay. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have also 21 loans for 9 million in active uh, purchases that are out there making offers. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you the exact number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those 21 are from Good Vibe Squad. Dude, amazing. And <laughs> that's awesome. I have 21 others that are filling out the application for 12 million and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of those are good vibe spot. Dude, love it, bro. I love it. Yeah. So, so and did you just, say, so these numbers just this year? Just this year. And it's just March. Yeah. Dude, that's amazing, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, so, so, so once those things, the, once those offers start getting accepted, um, this year uh, is going to be phenomenal. Yeah. So can you see how powerful that is? Can you see how powerful that can be? How much production do you think you can do if you wake up in the morning with number one, you already have appointments on your calendar. And number two, you have a list of leads with permission for you to call them, right? And have the system with the ability to be able to call these people, right? And even more than that, while the leads are automatically receiving communications and getting nurtured, this is the power. This is the power of this, guys, like the combination of them. And so you can just focus on what you do best, which is originate loans and build relationships. Does this make sense, guys? Like, do you see how powerful this is? Like, just being able to, comp co to, to focus on the high return activities, you can just focus on originating loans and actually building relationships. This is how you're gonna be able to actually dramatically blow up your business, double your mortgage production, and just incredible growth and this is exactly what we did for our clients. So here's what Justin Enos had to say. GVS is not just a place where you go buy leads. You know, they go far beyond what you'd normally expect from something like that. There is an insane amount of value by working with Good Vibe Squad. And if you put in the work, you'll get 100% what you paid for. If all you are looking for is leads, you'll get that. But you can probably go somewhere else cheaper. If you're looking for a fully fledged system that will generate and nurture customers for life, then you are in the right place. So this is what Mark Tom had to say. I've been with Good Vibe Squad for a little over a year and a half, and they never cease to amaze me. Their program pays for itself. And if you really put in the time and effort, a two to 10 X ROI is not only possible, but probable. The team is amazing and truly want to help their clients. They aren't in it for the money whatsoever. 
They are there to help you grow. Whether it's a semi-weekly coaching calls or the light speed IT support, they do it all highly recommended. So can you see how powerful the time accelerator is? Can you see how now you can unlock unlimited production by not even having a huge team, right? Being able to just focus, automate, and delegate, this is how you grow. Okay, so now we talked about the first two secrets, right? Secret marketing, secrets to unlocking time. Do you see how powerful this is? Can you see how realistic and, and how, how doable this is? Like, honestly, like, think about it. Like, this is the power of what we do. And so secret number three is we're going to talk about the secret to maximizing profit, you know? And so we have discovered the way on how to make your borrowers be worth 10 times more than your competitors. So this is a wonderful quote from Christine Beckwith. Uh, she says, kindness has a wonderful ROI in the world. And I'm going to talk about how we could leverage in order for us to really find and 10x your borrower's value. So now let's talk about the concept that is really crucial for this. Okay. So there are only three ways to grow a business. I don't care what business you're in, whether you are a laundromat, uh, you're a plumber, you are a mortgage professional, a real estate business, uh, if you're a software company, a consulting company, a marketing, like it does not matter. There are only three ways to grow a business, period, okay? And so these three things are, number one is to increase the number of customers, okay? So meaning for you as a loan officer, this means get more clients to buy a home, right? Or refinance, right? Like those are the two things. So, but but the thing is like, it's to get more clients, okay? So this number one is increase the number of customers, okay? Does it make sense, right? It makes sense, right? So number two is increase the average transaction value per customer, okay? So this is not getting new customers. It means increasing the average transaction value per customer. And so to you, this translates to a bigger loan amount, right? Uh, meaning if, you know, you could have the same number of customers, but if they have a bigger loan amount, well, you make more money, right? You, that's more money in your pocket. Or you could also have higher commissions, right? So if you have a higher BIPs, it could be the same amount of loan uh, of, of customers. It could be the same loan amount. But if you have a higher commission, well, you make more money. So you, that is more revenue for you, right? And number three is increasing the frequency of purchases, okay? So this is per customer, right? Increasing the frequency of purchases per customer. So what this means is for you, a customer, one customer buys multiple homes or they do future refinances or they give you new referrals, right? If you think about it, like does this make sense? Like these are literally only the three ways to grow a business, okay? So it does not matter, you know, what you do, this is it. Like these are, these are all the levers that we can leverage for you to be able to grow your business, okay? And so here's the thing though. Most people, unfortunately, most loan officers, they only focus on number one. They just want more customers, right? Like, oh, I want more leads. Oh, I want more appointments. Oh, I want, I just want more people to talk to, right? Now that, don't get me wrong, that is important. Absolutely. Like we spent, you know, a, a huge part of our training talking about the unfair advantage offer and the secret in marketing to be able to get more clients, right? More, more clients, more number of customers. However, we also want to focus on these two things, right? So we want to increase the average transaction value or increase the frequency of purchases, right? And so if you think about it, there's only five ways now to actually 10X the value of your borrowers, okay? So number one is client buys bigger homes, right? Meaning that's higher loan amounts for you. Number two is you could also increase your compensation, right? Meaning higher, higher BIPs for you. Uh, and if you haven't looked into this, like you should, you should really absolutely check into this, like depending on your situation, right? And number three, client buys more homes, right? Meaning if we, if, if they do more investments, right? Like if they buy their second, third or fourth home, uh, maybe they do Airbnb for that. Uh, that, that means more money in your pocket. Number four, client refis their current home, 
meaning the future equity that they already bought this initial home to begin with with you. And number five is client gives you new referrals, right? Does it make sense? Does this make sense? Do you see how powerful this is? Okay, so we have five ways to 10x the value of your borrowers. You either buy bigger homes, uh, you either increase your compensation, client buys more homes, right? Uh, client refis their current home or future, you know, for future equity. And then client gives you new referrals. This is literally five ways to, to 10x the value of a borrower, right? Do you see how powerful that is? So, okay, so how do we do this? All right, that, that makes sense. All right, so how do we actually do this though? So here's a powerful concept that I learned reading Atomic Habits. This is uh, an amazing book. Uh, if, you, if you've if you never read it before, I highly, highly recommend it. This is uh, James Clear. Uh, this is the author, you could see. Um, and really, this book is all about, you know, making tiny changes, remarkable, uh, you know, tiny changes to make dramatic results, right? And he talks about habits. And the interesting thing about this book, you know, that, that I really learned is this powerful concept that we as human beings, when we try to develop or maybe break, we try to either develop new or try to break our old habit, uh, we try to focus on the activities, right? We try to focus on, all right, uh, you know, what are the things that I need to change so that I can change the habit? So here's an example. If we're trying to lose weight, then you would change the activity of, all right, I should not be eating junk foods. I should be eating healthier foods. Um, and so maybe I could change the environment. Like I should throw out all the junk foods. Um, I should have a list uh, for groceries to eat like healthy foods, right? But I'm really focusing on the activities. What are the things that I need to do in order for me to lose weight? A uh, same idea is if we're trying to quit smoking, then, you know, I would, again, change the, either change the environment or focus on the activities, right? Like, all right, I should not be buying cigarettes. Uh, I should avoid, you know, having the influences to be able to, like, smell the cigarettes. Uh, I should not buy and I should keep and throw out all the, c the cigars at home. And so, again, they're activities, right? I'm focusing on the activities. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that, uh, that James Clear found out is our willpower runs out, okay? And so if you think about it, it willpower is a scarce resource. They will eventually run out. So if you just try to push on and just focus on the activities, it's not gonna work. And this is why a lot of people, when they try dieting, you know, maybe they lose a lot of pounds, but then after the diet, once it's done, like they, they gain the weight back, right? That's the problem. And so instead of trying to change your activity, Activity, this is what he says. This is one of the biggest breakthroughs that I got from this book. Is instead of trying to change your activity, you need to change your identity. Okay. And so in in our previous example, if someone tries to give you smoke, like let's say, you know, they, they try to give you a cigarette, instead of you saying, No thanks, uh, I'm trying to quit smoking, you want to say, No thanks, I don't smoke. Okay, and so like, do you see how powerful that? Like just that small shift. It, it's like a small shift, but because you're not you're not a person trying to quit smoking, you are a person who does not smoke at all, right? And so instead of focusing on the activities, you want to take shape and shift your identity of the person who already does the activity that you want, right? Like, do you see how powerful that is? This is so crucial. This is so powerful. And so secret number three, secret to maximizing profit. This is it, guys. This is, the, this is the secret right here that we've really learned is you need to change your identity. Today, starting today, you are no longer a mortgage loan originator, okay? Your new identity is you need to be a wealth advisor, okay? You do not you're no longer a loan officer. You are now a wealth advisor, okay? Now, why is this important? You know, why is this important? Okay, so what's the big deal, right? All right, so this concept really stems from the hero's journey. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a concept that every movie out there, every Hollywood blockbuster movie, and if you are going to be a script writer uh, to, you know, go to Hollywood, there is a formula for all the movies, okay? Uh, this came from the book Story Brand by Donald Miller. 
Highly recommend that book as well. Um, and it really talks about every every movie out there um, follows this journey of you have a character that has a problem and meets a guide who gives them a plan and calls them to action. And there's two two pathways there that they a- either end in a success or helps them avoid failure, right? So they either go towards pleasure or they try to avoid pain, okay? Now, every movie follows the same formula. Here's an example for this. If you look at Star Wars, it's basically the same formula. So you have a character, which is Luke Skywalker, with a problem, the evil empire is after him, right? And meets a guide. For this one, there's actually two guides. You got Yoda, you have Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? And then who gives them a plan, right? You must trust the force, right? And then calls them to action. And then, you know, Luke goes through this like whole fighting and like with the lightsaber and like the the, the fight scenes, the the guns, the spaceship, right? They're just like whole this climactic uh, uh, action scene. Um, But really all of this is it's going to result in either two things, right? It's either success or failure. So success, the Death Star is destroyed or failure, the rebellion is crushed. Right now, here's another example: Hunger Games. So, Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen. You have a character again. You got a character, Katniss, with a problem. You know, she must survive the Hunger Games. Right, and then she meets a guide, which is meets Hamish, and then Hamish gives them a plan of action to endear the public to obtain sponsors, right? And then again, she calls them to action, calls them to action. She goes and fights, you know, with the bow, with the jumping, with the fighting, the arrows, the and, and it's like a whole fight scene. And again, it results in either two things. It's either success or failure. Success, Katniss lives. District 12 rejoices. Or failure, Katniss dies. And then District 12 is crushed, Right. And so again, this is this is super powerful. Now here's the here's the biggest lesson here. If you look at this, your clients, your prospects, we all have a hero's journey. And the thing is, you cannot be the hero, okay? Now, what most people try to do is they try to talk themselves up. Like they they focus on themselves and try to like brand themselves to be this like amazing person. Like, "Hey, I'm an expert, you know, mortgage loan originator." Well, you cannot be the hero, right? Um, there can only be one hero, and for your in your prospect's minds, that's them. They're the hero, and so you need to be the guide, right? You need to be Yoda to their Luke Skywalker. You need to be Hamish to their Katniss, okay? And so you need to be the guide on their journey to home ownership. Does this make sense, guys? Do you see how powerful this is? You need to be the guide on their journey to home ownership. And this is why being an advisor is super, super crucial, okay? Now, here's the problem, though. Here is the problem. The problem with this is if you are a guide to their journey to home ownership, well, journey to home ownership, this is a one-time transaction, okay? It's a one-time transaction. But journey to personal wealth, though, this is a lifelong journey. Do you see how powerful this is? Can you see the difference now? This is why you do not want to be a mortgage loan originator. You want to be a wealth advisor, right? You want to be a wealth advisor. This is so powerful because if you're a wealth advisor, well, it's a lifelong journey, right? The problem right now is you help someone achieve home ownership. You gave them an amazing service, an amazing experience, and they're like, all right, perfect. You know, thanks for helping me out. Sayonara. Like, that's it. Like, you never hear from them again because you already helped them with that goal. Like, there's no point in, like, talking to you anymore because you already helped me. But if you're my wealth advisor, though, well, it's a lifelong journey, right? And so here's the other thing that we need to consider. Whenever we're doing this, there's actually two types of desires, right? Now, there is the external desire and there is the internal desire. So uh, when I heard about this hero's journey, uh, I actually learned this way back in like 2018. And uh, it's an amazing concept, but like I've personally always had uh, an issue or really I, I personally had a hard time like trying to, trying to okay, I get it. Like I want to be a guide, but how do I do this, right? And so this, this is the missing piece here is like there's two types of desires. You have the external desire and you have the internal desire. 
Now, the external desire is what you hear. This is literally what your prospects and clients tell you. This is what you hear, which is, I want to buy the house. You know, I want to get the money. I want to get the girlfriend. I want to be in a relationship. I want to get a boyfriend, right? Like, these are the things that you hear. But internally, though, internally, why? Why do they want those things? That's the internal desire, right? People don't want to buy a house just to buy a house, They want to buy a house because maybe they're having a child and, you know, they want a better, uh, they want a better neighborhood for their children, right? They want a better school. Um, I want, uh, I want uh, a better security for my children because I don't want, you know, I don't want them like playing outside and me having to worry being in a a sketchy neighborhood, right? Like uh, I want to buy another house because, you know, I want an investment. I want like personal finance, right? And like, uh, I want to use this for an Airbnb. Like there's so many reasons. It's not the house. It is why do they want to buy the house, right? And so understanding these things, these two things, is so crucial. It's so crucial. Do you see how how this is really super crucial in you being able to become a true wealth advisor? This is how you become their true wealth advisor. Now, as their LO wealth advisor, first of all, you get more five-star reviews, right? You're going to get more client referrals, right? Client will look to you now to buy more homes in the future, Client will look to you to refinance their homes, like their current home that you just helped them buy. Client will refer you to all their families. Client will refer you to all their friends. You will get introduced to more realtor partners and referral partners will send you more business. This is the powerful thing about this. Do you see how powerful this is? Can you see, can you already picture your business blowing up? You know, 10, 10xing, getting 10 times the value and, 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 and being able to like really grow your business because you are not only helping them on a one-time transaction, but on a lifelong journey. And so we ask ourselves, how can we help our clients 10x their borrower's value? Okay. And so we created a complete phone scripting guide following the framework of the wealth advisor. Okay, being the, the, the wealth advisor framework, you know, we have the actual scripts, the voicemails, objection handling, you know, built-in templates, like sales one-on-one, like, you know, how to take applications. Like we have broken this down with the wealth advisor framework, right? And we also completed, we also created a complete sales and nurture training, right? Videos on, you know, handling the conversations, right? These are, these are the strategies that we know as proven strategies that we've actually utilized for our clients. And we have 75 plus actual sales call recordings for any scenario, like taking, taking the strategies from the scripts, taking the, the, the nurture training that we have, the, the sales and nurture training. We have literally recorded real life conversations uh, of our clients with the personal information taken out. And so these are real life sales call recordings for you to be able to be a wealth advisor. And we also automated five-star reviews. We automated the nurture. We automated client referrals. So this is a complete loan officer wealth advisor package, okay? Now, can you see how powerful this is? Can you see how this can dramatically change your business, right? This is what David Beck said. You know, when we, when we implemented this for him, you know, Good Vibe Squad has made all the difference in my business and my life. I know the life part sounds hokey, but when you are consistently making more money because more business is being done, your life does change. And I promise you guys this, this is the truth. The support they provide is like no other I have experienced with any other marketing service I have ever worked with. I have been them, I have been with them for for a year and four months. So in this time, <clears throat> I have had marketing issues and membership issues that they have remedied beyond my satisfaction. Looking for a way to change your business where you don't have to create the wheel yourself? Sign up with them now and you will be happy you did. Here's another one from Michael Began. I can't stress enough that I'm not easily impressed and rarely write reviews, but with that said, Good Vibe Squad has far exceeded my expectations. There are plenty of companies that can provide leads, but never have I seen or heard of a marketing company that will spend the time to coach you on how to make the most out of the program. The time that Preston and McBilly spends to help me is mind-blowing. They've gone far beyond just providing leads. The dedication they bring to truly wanting the best for their clients is at a level way beyond most. 
not only am I happy to write a review for them, I'm excited to do so. If you're looking for a marketing company, please do yourself a favor and speak with them. Now, let me ask you a question, right? Uh, At this point, is this what you are feeling right now? (laughs) We literally went through so many things. Like we literally went so many things. We went through like the three secrets. We went through uh, a lot of different strategies, a lot of different automations, uh, delegation, and, and just like so many different concepts. Uh, this is uh, this is a really funny uh, video. So like we're just kind of drinking from a fire hose right now, right? But here's the thing. So uh, because of everything that we talked about, can I give you a special offer? Uh, I want to give you a special offer because I know there's so much information that we just talked to about right now. So to help implement, I want to give you a special offer to help implement what you learned today. You know, everything that we discussed, right? To double your mortgage production so secret number one, you know, we talked about the unfair advantage offer. Secret number two, we talked about unlocking more time. Secret number three, we talked about 10xing the value of your borrower, right? So I want to invite you to schedule a strategy call with our team. So what exactly happens on this call? So first of all, uh, number one is we help you clarify your unfair advantage offer. Number two is we I help you identify your low return activities, your medium return activities, and then your high return activities. And number three is we're going to help you identify the low-hanging fruit activities for you to 10x the value of your borrower right now, okay? And if you want to double your mortgage production and for us to work together, and if and only if we can actually legitimately help you, we will invite you to proceed to a demo, okay? Uh, and you know, if not, then no worries. You know, you could take the strategy we craft for you, use it for yourself, free of charge. Okay. So again, does this make sense, guys? Like, you know, do you see how powerful this can be? And so, uh, go ahead. You know, I invite you. Click below to schedule a strategy call with our team. With everything that we just discussed, you know, we want to be able to like actually break this down for you. Go to unfairadvantagesecret.com/apply. You know, unfairadvantagesecret.com forward slash apply. And, um, you know, we'll hop on a call and, uh, you know, we'll actually help you implement the strategies and the three secrets that we talked about, right? And again, you know, this this is what Barry Habib said. Things in the market are going to slow down, but it will represent a great opportunity. So are you ready to take advantage of this great opportunity is the question. So again, Go ahead, schedule a strategy call with us. We would love to see how we can help you. Um, I know that we've helped so, so many loan officers, so many mortgage professionals, and I know that we could help you if you are qualified, right? If if you if you have the, the right mindset, if you have the right commitment, we know that we can dramatically change your life. So at this point, like you have three options, okay? Uh, number one is you can don't do anything, like just not do anything after everything that we talked about, after understanding the unfair advantage offer, after understanding how to unlock more time, how to 10x your, your borrower's value, um, which, you know, it's not going to help anyone. Number two is you could try to implement all these strategies by yourself. You know, you can do this, but again, this literally uh, goes against the secret that we've uncovered, which is to delegate, right? You need to be delegating a lot of the marketing, a lot of the legion, a lot of setting up the CRM, you know, understanding that, if, to, for you to truly, truly grow your business, you need to, to start automating and delegating and only focusing on the high return activities, right? So number three is to schedule a call with us, see how we could help you implement these strategies into your business. So go ahead, schedule your strategy call. Schedule a strategy call, unfairadvantagesecret.com uh, forward slash apply. And we would love to see how we can help you. And if you're still here, And, uh, you know, you still have some thoughts. Hear what our other clients have to say. You know, literally hear what our clients have to say. Check us out. You could, you know, you could watch all of our our videos uh, in in YouTube and our our website and hear what our our clients have to say. And, um, you know, I guarantee you, we absolutely know if, if you are qualified, if you're qualified and if it makes sense for you, 
then we know that we can absolutely change your life. We know that this process works. We've literally helped hundreds of loan officers all across the country. You know, it doesn't matter whether you're a producing loan officer, whether you work for a bank, a retail, if you work for, if you're in a broker, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a branch manager, if you're a broker owner, it does not matter. We know this process works because we've proven it time and time again. So go ahead, schedule a strategy call, and I will love to talk with you soon.